Word of God in James chapter 5 verse 11 says, Behold, we call them blessed who endured. You have heard of the perseverance of Job and have seen the Lord in the outcome and how the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. He says, Bless are all them, bless are all those, bless are every single one who endured. They came out strong. They came out as the victorious one. And dear child of God, I want you to know that God will bring you a special blessing because you endured. Because you told God, give me more strength. Give me more might and help me to hold on to you. You see, Job made sure that he did not throw anything. He did not throw it away because he stood his ground and said, God, give me the grace and give me the might to maintain he held on to his integrity. The scripture says he, he held fast to his integrity. He made sure he endured. Dear child of God, it is true that you have been enduring. You have been asking God, when would this situation come to an end? You have been asking God, when would I enjoy my life? You are asking the Lord, when would all of these things stop happening to me? You have fallen many times and the Lord keeps on raising you up but you're asking when would i remain standing that i will not fall again yes it's of a true the scriptures have said that the righteous will fall seven times and rise again he said but the wicked the evil ones the enemies they would be overthrown in their calamity but you are asking god when would you help me to remain constantly standing when would you have my life more beautiful than it is right now God is saying to you, because you have endured, because you have trusted in me, because you have had faith in me and confidence in me, God is saying you will see him in the outcome. God is saying you will see the amazing things that he will do to set to you and bring you to your place of rest. He said you have heard of the perseverance of Job and have seen the Lord. He said you saw the Lord in the outcome. You saw you saw how the Lord brought him out of obscurity. You saw how the Lord raised him up. You saw how the Lord settled him. You saw how the Lord restored his joy. You saw how the Lord made him happy. You saw how the Lord settled him on all sides. You saw how the Lord restored everything that he had lost. You saw how the Lord restored his blessings and made sure he brought the better part of it to him. Dear child of God, the same way the Lord brought the better part of the blessings to Job. The same way you saw the Lord do amazing things for him and turn the story around and gave him a reason to rejoice. Despite the situations, despite the circumstances, despite the hatred, despite the evil that was done against him, despite the wicked intentions of the devil, you saw what the Lord did eventually to him. This is what will happen. You will see the Lord do amazing things for you. You will see the Lord do glorious things for you. All he's saying right now, all the Lord is saying to you is endure. He says, for those who endure afflictions, he said, happy are they. We count them rejoiceful. We count them joyful that endure. We count them blessed that endure. The Lord did it for Joseph. He endured. He was in the place of affliction. He was in the place of pain. He was in the place of sorrow. Yes, the things that he did not do, he was told that he did it. He was blackmailed. He was lied against. They did everything to see that he was broken. But he endured. His own brethren, his own brothers did evil against him. But he endured. He was thrown in the prison. But he endured. He was sold into slavery. But he endured. All the while he knew that God was with him. He knew that the God that favors men was with him. And when the time was set, when the right time came, he saw the Lord in the outcome. He saw how the Lord brought him to the place of relevance. He saw how the Lord brought him to the place of significance. He saw how the Lord brought him to receiving his blessings. And the days he had experienced pain, the days of sorrow, the days of affliction, the days of trouble, were passed. Every single one of them were gone and he did not remember them again. This is how God will do for you. 
He will bring you to your blessing. He will bring you to your rest. He would bring you to your satisfaction. And you will not remember again the days that you were in pain, the days you were struggling, the days you had afflictions, the days you were sorrowing night and day, the days that you cried yourself to sleep. You will not remember them again. You will not remember any single one of them again because the Lord has settled you with his blessing. The Lord has brought your joy in fullness and the Lord has brought his blessings to be visible in and around your life. He said, behold, we call them blessed who endured. You have heard of the perseverance of Job. Dear child of God, ask for the grace of perseverance today. Ask for the abilities of God to stand and stand till the very end. Ask for that strength of God to receive all the things that he has destined for you to receive. Remember he says, but he knows the way that I take. He alone knows. And he said, after I've been tested, after I've been tried, after I've gone through all of these things, you said I will come forth as gold. Dear child of God, you will come out as gold. You will come out as something precious. And you would be able to say, thank you, God, for giving me that strength. Thank you, God, for giving me the abilities. Thank you for helping me stand my watch. Thank you for helping me stand my ground. Thank you for giving me the grace not to give up, not to tire out. Thank you for helping me to endure until I've received my reward. He said that do not be weary. He says do not be tired. He says do not faint. Ask God for more strength. Because in due time, the appointment of God, your blessings are sure. And in that appointed time, you will receive that blessing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will visit you and he will uphold you. He will strengthen you and he will take you out of the fire. Dear child of God, you will call on Yahweh and Yahweh will save you. Yahweh will come to your rescue and he will make sure you are standing again. Yes, the people of God were thrown into the fiery furnace. They were thrown there to be destroyed. But God showed up. The fourth man in the fire showed up and made sure they came out on hot. They persevered despite all the things done against them. Despite all the things that the people were doing against them to cause them to fall. But they refused to fall. And they saw the Lord in the outcome. They were all promoted. They stood their ground. They maintained their integrity with God. And God blessed them so greatly. Dear child of God, please do not lose it right now. Keep asking God for the strength. Tell him, Lord, when I'm tried, give me the grace to stand. I cry to you, Yahweh. You see, the scripture says the righteous cry and Yahweh hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. Psalm 34 verse 17. Cry to Yahweh and say, my helper, my God, the Lord that sustains, the Lord that sees all through, the Lord that makes sure that we are not fallen, the Lord that makes sure that we stand strong, the Lord that makes sure that we receive our blessings. Please watch over me, strengthen me and see me through. Help me to pass all of my tests. Give me the grace to endure. Deliver me. I cry to you for help. I cry to you for mercy. Please see me through. And I want to assure you, whatever it is that you are going through, whatever the situations are that the enemies have caused to bring you down, to cause you pain, to cause you sorrow, you will rise above each and every one of them. You will rise above them all and you would have the last laugh. You would have reasons to rejoice. You would have reasons to dance. You would have reasons to celebrate. And you would have reasons to say, God has been so good to me. You'll be able to say, God saw me through and God gave me a reason to live. You would be able to say, God gave me a testimony. And now I am an overcomer. Dear child of God, you are an overcomer. By the blood, you are an overcomer. You are victorious and you are more than a conqueror. In the mighty name of Jesus, keep persevering, keep holding on to the Lord. The Lord will make sure the calamities that the wicked have planned against your life, none of them will succeed, none of them will remain with you, and you would rise, you would rise so greatly, you will stand strong, you will stand tall, you would have victories all the way. In the mighty name of Jesus, you would have reasons to rejoice, you would have reasons to dance, you would have reasons to celebrate. And you would have reasons to say, Yahweh God, you have stood by us, you have done us well, you have given us victory, and now we are giving you back all the glory. You'll be able to say thank you, 
Thank you for your sustenance. Thank you for being with me all the way. Like Job had reasons to rejoice and dance and praise the Lord. So you would have reasons to praise the Lord because the Lord did you well, because the Lord said to you, and because the Lord brought you victories. The Lord will say to you, the Lord will bring you victories, and the Lord will make sure your joy is full. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you, and shalom.